So, hello and welcome to lesson 17 in our study of optimization 2. So, recall that in our previous lesson, we talked about um, assignment problems and how to solve them. So, in this video, we are going to um, learn when we have a maximization assignment problem. How do we solve that? So, there are problems where certain facilities have to assign to a number of jobs who has to maximize the overall performance of the assignment. So when you have an assignment problem where the objective is to maximize instead of minimizing, what we do is that we first convert it into a minimization problem and then use the Hungarian method to attain its solution. So we are going to illustrate this concept with an example, right? <coughs> so a marketing manager has five salesmen in sales districts. Considering the capabilities of the salesmen in the nature of districts, the marketing manager estimates that sales per month in 100 Ghana cities for each salesman in each district would be as follows. So that's what you can see here in your, on your screen. So the question says, find the assignment of salesmen to districts that will result in maximum sales. So we are trying to what? Maximize. So in the solution, what we do is that, you know, it's a maximization problem. So first we have to convert it into a minimization problem. And we do this by locating the highest sales and subtracting the rest from it. So here the highest sale is 41. So you can see that here the highest sale is what 41. Right. So the revised minimization table is going to be everything here. So 41 minus 32, 41 minus 38. So we subtract all of them from 41. Right. So when we do this, we are going to get this table here. And this is now a minimization case. So now we can solve this using the minimization case that we know. So now there's a minimization problem and we can solve this using the Hungarian um, method, right? So we do row reduction. So in doing row reduction, in the first row, what is the smallest element here? One. So we subtract the one from each of the elements and that gives us this. So we do the same thing for the full, uh, other rows right and that will give us in this year i hope you can see that okay all right then let's proceed so after doing the row reduction we do what we call column reduction right so we take the first column for instance was the least element here zero and when we subtract zero from all of them then they will still be maintained here it is 2 so it will be 2 minus 2 16 minus 2 and what have you so you do the same thing for all the columns and this will be our column reduction so this one will be the final opportunity cost table so after getting that one what we do is that we try to cross out all the zeros using what we call the line test and we have to use the minimum number of lines possible right so you can see that to do that, we will use four lines to cross all the zeros. And after using four lines to cross all the zeros, we find out that we have to do five unique assignments. But the four lines indicate that at this table, we can only do four unique, right, which is less than the five. So that means that this table is not optimal. So we would have to proceed to get an optimal solution. And in proceeding, what we do is that we the uncross the values. Right, so you can see the uncross values, right? We look for the minimum of them, which is one. Then we subtract it from each of the elements, right? Then with the with where the they meet, right? So you can see here eight zero seven. Right, we are going to add the one to it, then the rest will be unchanged. Okay, so the next step we are going to have this here when we do that, this is what you will get. 
So when we get this two, we would also want to draw do the line test to draw the minimum number of lines to cancel out all the zeros and all the all the zeros okay. So here too you can see that still it was just four lines. That means that in this table two we can only do four unique assignments, but we need five, so it means it's not optimal. So to so get an optimal solution for the cells which are uncrossed, we look for the minimum, which is three, and we subtract it from each of the other cells values, right? And we add it to where the two lines meet to so add it to this place 9 plus 3, 19 plus 3, 11 plus 3, and what have you. Then the rest are unchanged. So that will give us this table, right? Then when we get to this table, during the minimum number of lines to cancel out all the zeros, you could see that we will have five lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we need five unique assignments. So that means that this table is what optimal. So we can do the assignments. And know that we do the assignments in the places where there is error, right? So we can assign salesman one to B, salesman two to A, salesman three to D. Salesman 4 to C and Salesman 5 to D. But know that because we have multiple zero, we can have multiple assignments, okay? So we can have this assignment, as I said, and the, mini, um, the maximum sale will be 191. Then because there was multiple zero, we can have another assignment here. And we can also have another assignment here. So with this question, we could have three possible assignments and all of them will give you the same cost which is 191 so 19,100 Ghana king. so thank you very much and see you in the next lesson if there will be any all right